YouTube, what's going on? Back my latest video. So today, I have another mystery box for you guys. This again is from Chrono Toys. This is another one of those $35 damage mystery boxes. I did order a lot, so bear with me. I'm gonna have a few more of those videos in the future for you guys, so stay tuned for those as well. But this pop was, I mean, this box was $35. There's six pops per box, so let's see what we got in there. Here we go. All right, guys, before we open this box up, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down there as well so you're updated to my most recent content. So like I said, this is a $35 box, six pops per box. Uh, been doing okay with them so far. Nothing extraordinarily uh, valuable or anything in my like personal wish list. But still some cool pops. Um, hopefully we don't get any more duplicates because I've gotten a lot of those. Um, this box is really weird as far as like how it's taped up. But let's see if we get this open. There we go. All right, so let's see what we got. We'll do these one by one. I don't believe Chrono does protectors for their boxes, for damaged ones, and there's no protection here. So let's just pull these one by one and hopefully we get lucky. Here is the, whoa, this pop box is bent in. I'll wait till you guys see this one. Here's the first pop. Oh, okay, so this is Monkey Luffy from One Piece. Um, I haven't gotten into One Piece yet. This is one of the animes. I do have my list of things I need to watch. I know a lot of people love this show. Uh, this one's really cool. This is from 2019, so it's not extremely old. But wait till you see the back of this box. That thing is mangled. So, um, I'm not a huge stickler for boxes. Uh, that's why I got these damage, get these damage mystery boxes. But that one's pretty bad. Um, that's not even like what I'm looking for. <laughs> that box is messed up. Um, but I don't have this pop, so this one's pretty cool. Probably keep out of box, and then maybe eventually we'll get a box upgrade uh, for this one once I watch the show. But this one's really cool. He's a cool looking figure. Uh, he's almost looks like the old retro style of Funko Pop with his hands down um, and not really stylized as much, which is kind of why I like this one a little bit more. Uh, let's see what he's going for online he is a cool looking one i don't know how much of the one piece pops go for but this one is going for 10 bucks so not extremely valuable like i said it's a brand a pretty new one um i think he's the main character in the show um so they probably made a whole lot of them but there you go that's the first pop from this box is monkey luffy all right so let's see what the second pop is number two okay so this is super Saiyan vegeto um, this one, I'm about to sneeze. You know when you feel like you're about to sneeze and it doesn't actually come out? That is a really weird feeling. But anyways, here is the Super Saiyan of Vegito from, this was a triple A anime exclusive pop. Um, it didn't, it doesn't have the sticker, so I'm pretty sure that's what the damage is because I don't see uh, really anything else on this box. Um, this is one I already have, so it's a duplicate, unfortunately. Um, but I know when this first pop, this pop first came out, I was really excited to get this because this was, I believe, the first Vegito pop they had. And then I think Hot Topic got that Super Saiyan um, God, Super Saiyan uh, Vegito as well. Um, but this one was really dope. I think it was the first one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but let's see. I think he's not extremely valuable. He was when he first came out, but they made a whole lot of these. He's 12 bucks. Um, so these were guaranteed value. So far we're at 22 bucks, which isn't bad at all when you have four pops left. Um, but the second pop in this box is the Super Saiyan Vegito from AAA Anime. All right. Hopefully we can get something else cool in here. I mean, we don't... The heaven so far in this series of boxes pulled like a huge grail. Um, but at a $35 box, that's going to be rare, I would think, anyway. So let's see what this third pop is. Number three. Okay, so I pulled this one before as well. This is Sir Thomas Sharp from Crimson Peak. Um, this one's pretty cool. I still haven't seen the movie Crimson Peak. Um, I said before that Mother Ghost is really, really creepy back there. I think this one has decent value though, because um, I think he's the most expensive out of this line. But let me make sure, because I'm not a huge Twin Peaks fan. I don't really keep up with that one at all. Um, it's always surprising to me that some of these movie pops are as expensive as they are. Um, he actually is going for 29 bucks. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So, so far, Thomas Sharp is the uh, grail of the box. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't see much damage on him at all. Um, if you guys have seen Crimson Peak, let me know in the comment section below if it's a good one. Maybe I'll check it out. 
Um, but for right now, there's Sir Thomas Sharp. He is the third pot from the box at 29 bucks. All right, guys. So that's a pretty good one. Uh, I kind of had an idea he was around that price just because I pulled in the past. Um, so let's see. Here is the third pop. This one has some weight to it and it feels like Todoroki. I really hope it's not. Number four. Oh, okay. That's not Todoroki, but from the same show. This is Dobby from My Hero Academia. This was a Hot Top exclusive from New York City Comic Con. I do have this one already. It took me a while to get him um, just because... Um, I didn't think it was going to sell out, and it didn't. I was able to get it on sale. I think I paid in, ended up paying like two bucks for this one at the rewards points. Um, so yeah, this one's a really cool looking one. Maybe I'll keep one out of the box now, because um, I have a lot of the My Hero Pops out of the box, but this one I have in the box. Um, and there's a little bit of a crease down the so uh, back right there, the damage. I don't know if you guys can really tell or not. Uh, there you go. You can see a little bit right there. But this pop is going, it says 60 bucks. That's not right. So let me check Pop Price Guide real fast. All right, so I checked Pop Price Guide. The reason why I do that is because the Funko app, for whatever reason, they have not gotten down the difference between con stickers and uh, shared stickers yet for a lot of these newer uh, con pops. And Pop Price Guide does a really good job with that. So this one's 24 bucks. Um, it's really weird that Funko's app hasn't done that because they get all their prices from Pop Price Guide, which I don't know why I didn't figure that out yet, but if you guys ever look up a pop and it seems like it's the value is a little off and it's a convention uh, exclusive, check Pop Price Guide. It's definitely a better and more reliable source for that. All right, so moving on, number five. Hopefully this one is good and not a duplicate. Number five, Bruce Wayne. That sucks. <laughs> um, so this is another Gotham pop. I, I pulled that Fish Booney a million times in the past. I've pulled this pop before in the past as well. Um, same thing applies to what I said before. This pop just looks really plain. Um, out of the box, you wouldn't have no idea who this is. You wouldn't know it's Bruce Wayne. He could be any character on any show, any movie, any anything. He just looks like a regular guy. Um, so yeah, I mean, Bruce Wayne is the fifth pop in this box. He's a common. I don't think he's expensive at all. Bruce Wayne is, I'm gonna guess like six bucks. Let's see. Bruce Wayne's five bucks. So I oversold the value of Bruce Wayne. Um, yeah, there you go. Bruce Wayne is the fifth pop from this box. And uh, yeah, he's definitely not gonna be one I keep just because I, I don't like this pop at all. I think it's one of the worst ones <laughs> that I've pulled in a while. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's see. Number six. Hopefully we get something good. Maybe a vaulted pop. Uh, some kind of Disney or ad icon grail would be nice. Let's see what we got. Number six. Aw, oh, man. So I have this one. This is a duplicate as well. This is L. Finnick uh, Fox from Zootopia. I know last time I pulled this one, you guys uh, let me know who this was. I actually went back and watched the movie again as well. Because um, I didn't remember him because he wasn't only in the movie for about like five minutes. Um, but then I watched it again. I do remember him from the movie. Funny character, I wish they'd been in the movie a little bit more. Still have to get the other pops uh, from this box. Uh, Nick, uh, Judy, Mr. Big, and Flash. Uh, definitely wanna get that Flash. He was my favorite character in that movie. Um, but this one, this guy's cool. Um, I do have one that I took out of the box, so maybe I'll keep this one now in the box. I don't think this one's vaulted yet. I think some of the ones in uh, Zootopia are vaulted, but I don't think this one is. Um, no, he's not, he's available. Um, he's six bucks, so he's not incredibly expensive. Um, I think Flash is vaulted, but he's not expensive either. He's only about 11 bucks, so maybe I'll pick him up. Um, but Elfinic is the six pop from this box at six bucks, which um, kind of expected, you know, uh, in these $35 damage mystery boxes that I've done in the past, it's kind of hit or miss. You know, you never, you're never gonna get, um, or you're hardly gonna get a huge grail but a lot of these really cool looking ones do add up and it's gonna be way better value than paying $35. Like at the store, you probably get what? Three pops at most. $35, you get six, uh, which is really cool to get that. And uh, that's why I continue to buy these. So El Finnick is the final pop from this box. All right guys, so I think I did all right as far as value is concerned. Here's the total value of the pops right there. Drop down in the comment section below what your favorite one was from this box. If you've not already hit that like button, hit that like button down below. It helps a whole lot with the YouTube algorithm, helps grow, grow this channel. So I really, really would appreciate if you do that. And if you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button as well so you're updated to more videos just like this one. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll see you later.